everyone, welcome back to Ruffington. You guys have been asking for this video for a long time, an update on Carly's baby because she did a double sister pregnancy announcement update a while ago and lots of you guys have seen that. And this weekend, Carly and Mike showed up and Whitney showed up on my doorstep, literally. They just, I didn't, I had no idea they were coming and they put Whitney on my doorstep and they rang the doorbell and, and kind of like hid. And so I opened the door and Whitney was right there. Um, so they surprised us with a little visit and it's just perfect. How do you know they're coming? <laughs> Where do they go? Go find Mike. Mike's out there somewhere. Hi! Hi. Oh, baby! Hi! Hi. Connor answers the door like, what is this baby? Did you know who it was? Yeah. Aww! Did you see baby Whitney? Yeah. It's your little cousin. <laughs> It's kind of like baby bow. <laughs> she's little and she's so cute. Look at her little bow. Oh. She says she gives her a little kiss. Like, like baby bow. Oh, like baby bow. <laughs> like baby bow. Like baby bow. <laughs> so we are taking the chance to update you guys on our babies and we're really excited. So here's a little update for you guys. Here's so here's baby, baby bow. You guys know him. Oh. And introducing baby Whitney. She's so cute and dainty <laughs> and has a head full of hair and she's so cute. Yeah. What's her name? Mary? Whitney, Whitney Mary, Mary Walton. You guys have already heard a lot of my labor and delivery stories and so just a quick refresher if you hadn't watched my previous videos. My labor and delivery was very fast. I started having contractions um, and then they were never far apart. They were always like two minutes apart-ish, three minutes apart, but they got steadily more intense. They got a lot more intense really fast and so I was rushed to the hospital. Me and Zach rushed over there once we realized it was time to go. An hour after I got to the hospital, Bo was here. Let's just say that. I did get an epidural um, and everything was good. It was it was a great delivery and I, I when I was at the hospital, they, I was already at a seven and so I kind of wonder what it would be like to go natural if I was already feeling the pain of a seven, but not enough to actually try it out yet, so <laughs> we'll see. Um, for me, so Whitney was born on February 2nd. And that was her due date. Yeah, Isn't so that I, crazy? I started having contractions in the early morning hours on my due date. So, like, actually right at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to the hospital around 11 in the morning and I was having pretty regular contractions and got an epidural right away. And she, the doctor came and broke my water and then she, came oh she came a couple hours later so it was a really good day like I feel like it was exactly what I expected and contractions were exactly what I thought they would feel like they hurt really bad <laughs> you guys just had you and Mike in the room right you didn't have yeah, we, parents or in-laws or anything yeah my mom and dad were there but they came in a little later after she was born like an hour or two after she was born yeah. Mike's family my husband's family lives all over so none of them were in Arizona if you guys want to check out some of her pictures of her delivery, um, she has a website, thewaltonstory.com, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can check out there if you want to see more into her delivery and just their life. They, they, they post a lot. It's like a kind of like a blog and a place for them to catalog their pictures. So it's really cute. You should check it out. So it was good. We were so happy when she came and we were in the hospital for a day and then we went home. And she's a good baby. <laughs> oh, oh, man. So right now, Bo just hit his two month birthday, and Whitney is six weeks. Six weeks. So that's how old they are. One question I get a lot is, how are you sleeping? What's your sleeping like? How is he a good baby? And I always say that he is a very good baby. He kind of sticks to the schedule. He will eat. I kind of try to do the three hour schedule. So I feed him, and then three hours from when he first started eating is when I feed him again. So he'll eat, we'll hang out with him for a little while, try to keep him awake, and then let him take a little nap before he eats again. He doesn't always stick to it, but for the most part, he's pretty good at just um, eating in that that type of a schedule. At night, last night, he slept for like six to seven hours, a stretch of that long, if I'm right. I think that's right, maybe like five and a half hours. But it was really a long, long stretch last night, so yeah, that was that's amazing. Really, really long. For and then Zach <laughs> actually took him to feed him when he woke up at like six It makes the biggest difference when you can sleep for longer than two hours. Yeah, like time. when you can sleep long stretches instead of just like getting it broken up by feedings and diaper changes and stuff. Oh my gosh, it makes the biggest difference. So I'm feeling really good today. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Cause right now I think I haven't slept for longer than three hours in like six weeks now. Yeah. <laughs> but there like, was can't. one night I think where I had 
Mike feed her in the middle, and so I did sleep for like five hours, and yeah. I woke up and was like, ha! Ah! <laughs> like, I feel amazing! I'm a new person! <laughs> Sleeping thing is good, but she, she just, does she stick to her schedule? Right? Yeah, yeah, she does. Sometimes she gets really hungry, like, in the, middle. I, the first couple of weeks she wanted to eat all the time, like, all the time. You just kind of have to push through it and try to get them to eat full feedings and then yeah. um, feed them at least two hours, two and a half hours later. Yeah. That's been good and I like feel bad. Sometimes I'm like, I'll just feed you because you're starving. <laughs> yeah. I am mostly doing um, breastfeeding for Bo. I will pump and feed him a bottle because he will take a bottle unlike my second child, Piper. She would not take a bottle ever. So <laughs> I've been making sure to like every now and then um, give him a bottle to make sure he still does <laughs> so, so he can be good at that. Um, I had a hard time with Whitney nursing. I think I nursed for, I tried for a couple of weeks and just didn't work out too well. <laughs> I pumped milk for her for the rest of the time up until just this week. So we are using for a lot of formula now and it works great and she loves it. But I think it's interesting because people, when I tell people that I hear so often, don't feel guilty. <laughs> yeah. And I don't, I don't know why it's so, it's so natural for moms to feel guilty when when your milk doesn't come in or the baby doesn't latch, like it's okay. And I've had I I have had to kind of understand that it's okay. And I, I think the guilt comes from really wanting to do it. Yeah. Like you love the attachment with the baby. You love that like you get to spend that time with them so close. And I did like that. And so I think I think that's where the guilt comes from. It's not like people you're are embarrassed. Rude or yeah. Anything. You're not. It's not embarrassing. It's just you feel sad that you can't give them breast milk because you know that that's really good for them. Yeah. As far as how our house is set up for our newborn, um, we I just have right here next to my bed, I have our pack and play and it has a little bassinet insert that we use for him. And we use it for Piper. It's, it works really well. I keep it right by my bed. I can even like reach him and like put his binky back in from the bed. Um, so is I really that, like that situation is that, like, this time around. Hard, is it hard to sleep though because he's so no is he noisy? Um, no, no. He's not noisy. He is noisy, but I'm used to it right now. Is that is Zach used to it? Yeah, we're both used to it. So anyway, that's how I have, and then like in it I have um, like my diapers and my wipes, and actually has yeah, the, the really bassinet nice. flips over, so the other side is the changing table. Oh really? So. Do you use that? Do you we don't use it a ton. We we use it a lot with Piper. And That's one thing I wish I had. With this bedspread, I, I need to use it more. I wish I did have a changing table because I didn't realize like, well, it's okay changing them on the ground. Normally I just change them on the ground. But that's all we have and so getting no up and down option. my knees are actually kind of hurting. Yeah. <laughs> we don't even have really a nursery for her. We didn't spend money on a nursery yet or even a crib. We're just like, We'll get stuff as it needs, as we need it. Yeah, we're both kind of in like nursery. phases right now where like we have a room that we could make his nursery, but we're using it for toys and like extra room stuff right now. And since we are leaving for the summer, I didn't want to like do this whole setup and then just leave before he's gonna sleep in my room probably for another couple months. So and they really don't need That's much. Good. I. Yeah. If I, I don't know, if I had the space, I might go all out and do like a big nursery. It's super fun. It's super fun to have a nursery and like get they excited. Just, they don't know the difference though. Yeah. <laughs> so they're both in like the one size diaper. I don't know size like what the pound is, size one. I use Pampers Swaddlers diapers. I just always like those for my two other babies and so I always get them. I can get them on Amazon and Amazon delivers them to my door in the big boxes. We just got a delivery actually today. I use cloth diapers for about half the time. Then our washing machine broke, and so I couldn't use my cloth diapers. So I was like, ah, I'm using so you many diapers. Could have just washed them by hand. Yes, I could. Okay, that would have taken like, that would be so much, and time. that would be so disgusting. So gross. So with newborn, newborn poop, <gasps> you can put it in the wash, um, and it works really well. I use the Rumpa Roos covers, and then you can get cloth inserts, and then when they wet their diaper, you pull out the insert and then just put in a new cloth in the cover and you can reuse the covers like four or five diapers until it gets messy and then you just put it in with your wash so I'm really happy with it it goes it works really well the only kind of downside is they're bulky so their clothes fit a little differently but I don't like they don't know the difference so yeah. it doesn't really matter so these first two months with Bo um they've been pretty good we've been pretty secluded in our house we we really haven't gone on many like outings or anything which is probably pretty normal for most newborns you don't especially in the winter you don't want them getting sick and actually he he was a little stuffy nose when he had his two-month appointment and they tested him 
his like they swabbed his nose to just test it for viruses and he had a virus he had a it's called rhino virus and it's mostly it's just the common cold I think for us I adults yeah i don't know <laughs> it's just a common cold but for a little newborn it could get kind of scary and so they had us yeah. go to the hospital and like have them suck his like nose cavity and everything dry so that not like dry but they they had him get all the snot out at the hospital so the only thing he's, the only like symptoms he's had is just a very stuffy nose I'm constantly kind of getting out his boogers. So that was kind of scary and not super fun. We took her, I think the first place I took her was to Target. I just put her in a wrap. I needed to get something and that was at two weeks. <laughs> and I, she was fine. It was more me. Like yeah. walking is hard. Recovery just takes, I just, but I just had to get out of the house. Like I. That's something we can talk about is like yeah, recovery. mom recovery is different for everybody. I didn't tear, I didn't need any stitches. You didn't um, need any stitches at uh -uh. all? Not this time or last time. Uh, but my what? first time I needed stitches. That is so lucky. I know. Yeah. Um, so that recovery wise, I was pretty good. Like I could walk around, I could do things and get things done. Um, so it was, my recovery was pretty quick. But yeah, it was for rough. others, it's more rough, especially for girls who have C-sections, but I've never had one. Yeah, mine was when you get an epidural, you hear it like I I pushed for an hour. I just have a I have a friend that just had a baby and she pushed for three hours. And mm -hmm. the, the longer you push, I think the more likely it is that you. The longer they're issues. like in the birth canal. Yeah, you have some issues. Bruising and just yeah, swelling. Yeah, I was really really swollen and I didn't even know in the hospital until like we were getting like the day we left and the nurses were like, "You're really swollen. Did you know that?" I'm like, "How would I know that? Other than <laughs> yeah. it hurts." Like if you don't so tell me, they started giving. I don't know. They started letting, like having me use ice, and that helped. But yeah, yeah, recovery is hard, but you're also just so happy, and you're so emotional, like pregnancy or like giving birth hormones. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're just anyone that would come over, I would get like emotional when they met Whitney, because you just love them so much. And there's a lot. It's kind of crazy. There's just a lot of emotions that go through. And <laughs> yeah. But now we're good. We just went on a hike a couple days ago, like an almost six mile hike, and took her with us. And I wouldn't even do that it without was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, we want to do these things. They're adventurous design. people. So a lot of people ask us who the baby looks like, and I, Bo is a very good mixture of Porter and Piper. He's got Piper's like skin tones, the darker skin tones, um, and darker hair. But he definitely looks a lot like Porter was when he was a baby and just kind of how he's now. Porter also did like concerned eyebrows just like he does all the time. So it's pretty cute. And then I don't know exactly who, as far as me and Zach goes, who he looks like. Um, I can't really see myself in any of my kids, but a lot everyone else can. So I don't know. But he does look like his siblings, which is a good sign. And he's just really cute. When Whitney was yes. born, well, when she was... <laughs> About to be born, the doctor said, I feel, he's, he was like, I feel some hair. And so Mike and I were really excited because you just never know if your baby will have hair or not. Yeah. So she came out with so much hair and we were like, oh my gosh, who is she? Yeah, I think we hear everything. We've heard that she looks like Mike. A lot of people say right away, she's a Walton, she looks like Mike. And then other people have said, she looks like my mom or me. Um, like her nose and her and her mouth and her profile are similar to me, so that's kind of fun. But when she was first born, I was like, she doesn't look anything like me. <laughs> it's really funny. I see so many different people. Well, and they, ch and they change, so yeah. like, the more, she, the more she grows, I'm like, oh, I can see a little bit of me or my mom. <laughs> Ow, who grabbed my hair? <gasps> what are you, what are you thinking about? <laughs> what are you thinking about? This is pretty much what it is, guys. You you get to hang out with your newbie. You get to know them. They get to know you. Every day they like gain some new something. Like either they start to smile or their eyes change a color a little bit or something. They grow out of the diaper size and every day it's something new. And it's so fun. And even like baby number three, still fun. Even more so because it's like I get to relive Porter as a baby again because he's very similar to Porter. It is so fun. We love babies. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you like this baby update. If you're expecting, congratulations. And if you just had another a baby, congratulations. I get a lot of comments saying, I just had my baby, or my baby's due on this date or whatever. I know there are a lot of expectant moms out there. So I hope this video helped you get a good idea of what it's like to have a baby for the first couple of months. It's just, it's, it's wonderful and it's so much fun. 
Babies are so fun. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to our little update. And maybe we'll do another one. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Either way, we gotta go. These guys need to be fed again. Uh, we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.